Well, I want to welcome everyone to this late night episode of Sunday's Best. I'm so excited about this episode. It's because this is the very first video I get to show you my results from purchasing those great DVDs from the oldmansmodels.com. I call this the Don Yost formula. And this is not everything that I learned, but these are some key things. As you can see, I got rid of those mold lines. Took it all the way up to 12,000 grit. Now it's time to paint. I'm using my go-to primer, Rust-Oleum Flat Black Primer. And my base coat is gonna be full metallic gold. And we're heading outside. Nighttime painting. One of my favorites. And as always, that primer doesn't miss. It laid on smooth as butter. Now it's time for the Midas touch. Let's add that gold in there. This gold laid down smooth as butter as well. No complaints. That's all from taking it to 12,000 grit in my wet sanding. Create text. Pearl green will be my color, along with a couple drops of the Create Text Pearl Black. And here's that custom pearl green. And my reference pick for this build is from Vanguard Motor Sales. If you want some inspiration on some of your builds, definitely check out their YouTube channel. That and the Barry Jackson Auction. You can't go wrong with either one. And now it's time for that clear coat. And I cut that clear coat with about 10% of the Rust-Oleum Automotive Lacquer Thinner. And no wet sanding has taken place yet. Again, that's a result of taking that wet sanding to 12,000 grit at the very beginning. That's my foundation. After I sanded everything, wet sanded that is, with the 2000 grit sandpaper. Now I'm going to 3000 grit. Up from there is 4000 grit, 6000 grit, 8000 grit, and finish off with 12000 grit. Back to the big three, McGuire scratch remover. I got a new compound I'm trying out, Ultra Cut Compound number 105, and my Carnuba Wax. That's after about two coats for the wax. Now for me, I found these racing stripes a little challenging to apply. I was using decal softener, using my Dawn liquid detergent with my water. But at the end, I did finally get everything applied. But if I had to do it all over again, I probably would have painted these racing stripes in there.
and the directions has this backwards this piece is actually supposed to be at the front so make sure you catch that And the racing strike for the rear is the one that gave me all the challenges. This was a mean curve right here as well. I decided to add my Cobra badges here too, for the front and the rear. And here it is, my very first paint job after applying those finishing techniques I learned from the Don Yost formula from the DVDs that I ordered from his amazing website. Even though Brother Don is not here with us in the physical, his spirit and his energy is still here. I couldn't have done this alone. I definitely had the help of the old man. And for the looks of things, something tells me that the old man would be proud of me. <laughs>